Hi there, it's Friday the 15th of May 2020 and I'm running out of different clothes to wear for these podcasts. <laughs> so I think I'm going to need to go to the shops. Anyway, good morning. It's good to talk to you once again. We've been thinking this week about the sayings of Jesus in John's Gospel where he reveals himself, reveals who he is. He said, I am the bread of life. I am the light. I am the gate. I am the shepherd, the good shepherd. And finally he said, I am the true vine, the true vine. John chapter 15, verse 1, Jesus said, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. And then later in verse 5, he said, I am the vine and you are the branches. Now, I wonder if you've done any research into your family tree. Um, I've done a bit and it's quite interesting to find out where the family has come from. We're all Scots uh, and we all come from the the kind of central belt uh, and and the south belt in Lanarkshire actually and funny enough that's where Ruth works so we're we're there or thereabouts still after all these years. I don't know if you ever watched the programme Who Do You Think You Are on the TV. Uh, I find it really interesting where they look at celebrities and they trace their family tree back. Well I don't know if you saw the one with Danny Dyer. Um, the East Enders actor, uh, Cockney Boy. Um, if you haven't seen it, you need to watch it. It is absolutely hysterical. So Danny Dyer, who is a, an, as I say, an East End Cockney Boy, um, he finds out that he is related to Oliver Cromwell, <laughs> and through Oliver Cromwell, to Edward the Third. Edward III of England. And there's this clip which is hilarious where he goes to a castle with a moat that um, where one of his ancestors is living, Lord so-and-so. And he meets this chap across the moat bridge. And he's saying, all right, all right, how are you doing? All right, mate, all right, all right. And the chap's saying, hey, hey lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you, Daniel. <laughs> And these two are are distant cousins. It is amazing to find out where our family tree goes and who we might well be related to. Of course, if we trace our family tree back long enough, we will eventually come to the very first man and woman, Adam and Eve. And all of us are descended from Adam. He is the first Adam, the Bible says, because there was a second Adam. And that second Adam was Jesus. Just as Adam has physical descendants, of whom we are all uh, his descendants, Jesus has spiritual descendants. He is the second Adam, the beginning of a new race of people, spiritually descended to him. And that is all those who believe in the Lord Jesus, who have asked him to forgive their sins, who have given their hearts and life to him, and who follow him in their life. And I am one of Jesus' descendants. And if you are a Christian, then you are also one of Jesus' descendants. And so you can trace your family tree physically back to the first Adam in the Garden of Eden, but you can trace your your second family tree, your spiritual family tree, back to Jesus. You are a spiritual descendant of the Lord Jesus himself. So isn't that awesome? That's even more amazing than Edward III. You are a descendant of Jesus if you are a believer in the Lord Jesus. And Jesus goes on to say in John chapter 15, I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire and burned. But if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be given you. What is the purpose of a vine? Well, it's to produce fruit, uh, grapes, of course, and those are produced through the branches. So the life of the vine is in the vine, but that life goes out through the branches and produces fruit. And the Bible says that we are the branches of the Lord Jesus. If we believe in him, we are his branches. And so as we follow him, that fruit, that life of Jesus is producing in us good fruit. The Bible says it produces the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control and of course many other good things as well. But we have to remain in Jesus. We have to keep that connection. We have to remain solidly attached through continuing to follow him day by day so that that good fruit is produced. 
Otherwise, we might find that we are withering and we are not having the life within us that we should. If you find yourself withering in your life, then you need to ask your, the question, are you remaining solidly attached to Jesus? Are you keeping his life flowing through you by spending time with him each day, by praying to him, by uh, singing songs about him, by reading his word, by spending time in his presence, by going out into his creation and talking to him as you walk? If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask anything in my name and it will be done. So there we have it, Jesus, the bread of life, the light of the world, the gate for the sheep, the good shepherd and the true wine, true vine and the true wine. I hope you're getting to know him through this lockdown period. God bless you. Speak to you again soon.